Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Loom. Um, I've been covering this daily. Most of you know, I will, I, will, I will continue to cover this daily, but to be honest, I mean, over the last 24 hours, uh, we've barely seen in, in, any movement. So if you still want me to continue these daily updates, I will gladly do so, but I will probably not tell you that much new information right now on Loom. Uh, what I will tell you is how to identify for yourself when Loom can start rallying again. All right, because uh, we'll just do a full overview of what happened with Loom. A big manipulated rally, all right, uh, which brought it all the way from around 5 cents to at the top around 50 cents. So huge manipulation, no fundamentals behind that move and also a lot of manipulated volume uh, uh, behind it. Um, so then what was expected is that at some point of time it would fall. Uh, sometimes that manifest, manifests itself in a crash like this. Uh, sometimes it falls a little bit slower. So Loom crashed and what happens usually then is that at some point of time a new rally will form. A, a shorter rally, like this rally took a long time. It will probably be, be uh, like a couple of days and it will also not rally as high. Not by far. Uh, but it will rally and there's money to be made. All right, so I just wanted to explain you, like that's the situation um, and I will tell you how to actually spot that rally. For now, it still seems like at this moment, it still seems like, like Loom is very bearish. All right, if you take a look at the price right now, uh, you can see that basically after the resistance it found at 13 cents, which it tried to break above, um, it has been bearish and it's been slowly dropping down. Um, the, the the good thing is that it has major support around 10 cents. That's a big psychological support level. Uh, but in the end, it seems likely that it will continue dropping down towards seven and a half and seven cents in the near future. At this moment, that looks like the most likely scenario. So now then the big question is, is how can you actually identify when it could actually bull, uh, when it could actually rally? And the first thing you have to do is you have to go to Leviathus, all right? That's a website which allows you to see a lot of news uh, and a lot of statistics on cryptos. You spell it like L-A-E-V-I-T-A-S, all right? Um, that's what it is. And if you go there and you go to the new layout, and then here at the top, let me see if you can see this. No, but here at the top, you can go to global, you press that, then here on the left, you press perpetual swaps. And then here, you look for Loom, all right? And if you have that, you click that and you take a look at this, the open interest. And what you see right now is that the open interest has been dropping down, which means Loom is losing momentum. Now, Loom can actually rally if this starts to go up, all right? That's the first thing, the open interest needs to go up. And then you start, hey, and, and then you start thinking, hey, momentum is increasing. It could rally, then you take a look at the technicals, and then for example, if it gets a bullish breakout, which in this case for Loom would be above 13 cents, then it can rally, all right? So if the open interest and the volume start increasing, while Loom also gets a bullish breakout technically. Uh, so currently the main level it needs to break out above is 13 cents. If it does, it can rally up to 17 cents and potentially all the way up to 20 cents, even, I, I, even though I do not expect that. Um, but that's the ma ma main way you can find it. Now, as I said, right now, the open interest is still dropping down. So right now, I don't think Loom has a chance to rally. And therefore, I also said that I think it's more likely it will continue to drop down towards seven and a half and seven cents. But at any point of time during that fall, the open interest could start increasing and it could get a bullish breakout and it could rally. All right. So now you at least know how to keep up with that. If you want to learn more about that, consider joining, for example, my premium group in which I actually, uh, in which you actually gain access to my trading guides. You gain access to an amazing community full of traders and my own trades. And I'm a profitable trader. So consider joining if you want to make some profits while also becoming a better trader. For now, that's my video on Loom. So thank you for watching. Have a great Sunday and bye.